Welcome back to Late Night, everybody. Welcome back. Uh, I'm very happy to invite to our stage a PLU alum. Please give them a warm welcome. Give it up for Suzanne Ackerman. Suzanne, you were uh, used to be a loot. I guess always, always a loot. Is that? Do you still I, uh, yeah. say that you're a loot? Is that once a loot, always a loot? Absolutely. Yeah. Huh? Loot, 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 loot. Okay. Loot. Oh, okay. Come on! Are you kidding me? <laughs> she pulled that out of nowhere. You guys are like, should have been better. Should have been. Uh. So you attended. What, what were you involved with on campus? Uh, I was involved with dance ensemble. That was one of my favorite hey. things to do. Yeah, and I was an English major. Yeah, yeah. I know, I know. So yeah, David, had a lot of fun. The man who popped up from the desk, also an English major. Yeah. <laughs> Glad to be associated with that. <laughs> Is there anything uh, has anything changed noticeably? Uh, yeah, just on the way here, I got locked out of this building because you need a weird key to get in now, like a card or something. Oh, you I didn't have swipe cards? No. Wow. What did I you, know. What did you, the how did you get into the building? Interference. You would use the handle and open it, and the door would open, and then you would walk into it. I know. Are you kidding? But a lot of it is the same. <laughs> our stat hall looks just the same as I remember. Yeah. yeah the mm -hmm. old, the original, the old main on campus. Yep. Yep. Did you live in Harstead at all? I did, yes. I did my did freshman you, year. Was the top floor haunted when you were here? Was that a thing? I lived there, but I did not haunt it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's good to know. There was, um, there have been some incidents on, on that floor. Mm -hmm. So I was just curious if that was a, a new thing. If it was a... It must have been, yeah. yeah huh. Yeah. New ghost. That's, mm -hmm. we'll know that when we communicate yeah. with it next. <laughs> yeah. So you were an English major but yeah. now you work at a zoo yes is there a high demand for english majors at <laughs> zoos or how did that not especially i didn't take the most direct path to what <laughs> i do now so i am a staff biologist at point defiant zoo and aquarium which is awesome but when i graduated from plu my plan was to be a teacher so i did teach for one year at a junior high i taught english and social studies and it was pretty awesome yeah. You weren't like, I'm gonna, you kids are too much, I'm going to go to the animals? Is that the No, not exactly. While I was at PLU, I started volunteering at the zoo, and I loved it. So I volunteered for their education department and learned the ins and outs of the zoo. And I learned that there's this thing called the Wild Wonders Outdoor Theater, where the zookeepers get to do a big show and take the animals out to introduce them to people. And I thought that I want to do that. I didn't know that was a thing, but once I realized it was a thing, I wanted to do that. <laughs> so it was, it's like a, a theater production with animals? Yeah, is that yeah, they have a stage and we do a play. It's like Shakespeare, animal. is that what you've got them doing? Uh, they're not quite that highbrow. <laughs> I mean, the animals are really good at slapstick humor, but yeah, Shakespeare's <laughs> a little beyond their capacity. So who was better behaved, the middle schoolers or the animals? What is in your experience? They each had their strong points. I'm not going <laughs> to call anybody out. Yeah. <laughs> So, like, working for the zoo, do you get to like just go into the exhibits and hang out with the animals? Is that something? Well, the department that I work for, because we work with the animals that are trained and handleable, yeah, sometimes I just do get to walk into their enclosures and work with them that way. But I don't work with any of the larger animals, so no polar bears or tigers or elephants. Okay. But we have things as large as an aardvark, Ooh. for instance. Yeah, yeah. So, do you have what have you been in like an enclosure with a like have you been like face to face with a large animal? I absolutely have. So it in between being at PLU and getting my full time job at Point Defiance, I worked at a zoo in Germany and I did work with elephants there and I've been I guess nose to trunk with an <laughs> elephant and that is an amazing experience. Is it scary? Like are you worried that it's just gonna get angry and just They seem to get exponentially larger as you get closer <laughs> so there is something the first couple of times it happens that you sort of like your heart palpates just a little bit of, <laughs> like I know this is okay but man this thing is big Maybe yeah a, like it's a, like amazing a dis dysrhythmia a little dysrhythmia yes <laughs> call back you bring it back around <laughs> I, I like you uh, so 
Have you ever had with like when you were with the elephants or anything? Like, I know some elephants have. I've maybe just one has been trained to paint. Like they paint pictures. Is there anything any cool talents the elephants had or anything? Uh, our elephants have painted in the past, and training is a big part of their lives as well as most of our animals' lives. So they are trained to do a number of things. The animals that I work with are trained to do any of the behaviors that you see during the shows. So we have um, a lot of them like to show off their natural behaviors. So we have some of our birds flying. Uh, we have a bird that out in the wild will take small prey animals and slam them on the ground. And uh, that's really fun to showcase in the shows as well. Do they, so do you have them slam animals on the ground or what do Just they use? Just little plastic animals. Okay, okay, yes. okay. Yeah. I say that as if I know they don't eat them in the first place, I don't know. <laughs> so is there a, like a, a trick that like people come, they're like, I wanna see like the aardvark do their rollover. Is there like a, a fan favorite <laughs> that? <laughs> I don't think there's a favorite animal behavior that people like to see. Not that we haven't had a whole lot of requests for rollovers. Okay, yeah. they're probably just like they're animals, and that's that's, it. that's pretty much it. Yeah, yeah. And, which is our job. Yeah, is to make people amazed by animals so that they want to protect wildlife and conserve wildlife. So yeah, if people come and they're just amazed by animals, that's what we're going for. So what is so you work with the smaller trained hand? What else do you do for the zoo? Is that like your main the main thing you do, or what else goes yeah, on? Yeah. So during my day, I would start out by cleaning their enclosures. It's not very glamorous, so lots of hosing and scrubbing and that sort of thing, and making the animals diets and food. And then uh, during the middle of our day, we do programming. So we might be doing something like taking an owl to a birthday party, or might be taking the beaver for a walk. And I know. Can we go back to the owl yeah. birthday party thing? Yeah. What is it the owl's birthday party? Is it the aardvark's birthday party? Who's Our animals are very popular. They get invited to a lot of birthday parties. What? If, if you have your birthday party at the zoo, you can have an animal guest. So yeah, that's part of our job. Okay, yeah. let's see. Uh, July is, how far out do you take reservations? Coming it, right up, we'll, we'll bring an animal to your birthday party. Sounds Come on good. to the zoo. Sounds good. Yeah. Come on to the zoo, everybody. <laughs> that was, we Happy planned birthday. that. We're plugging it right now. Yeah. <laughs> so I understand that there are some cool things happening at the zoo, like a month-long celebration, and a few other things yeah. you tell us about that. So April, we are celebrating the opening of our new Pacific Seas Aquarium. And as part of that celebration, of course, come see the aquarium. It's pretty fantastic. But we're also doing a series called the Ocean Voices Speaker Series at Alma Mater here in Tacoma, where we have lots of speakers coming to talk about different ways you can conserve the ocean. So we're having all a uh, month-long ocean celebration. Come join us. You all didn't laugh at the whale joke, so here's an opportunity to learn and grow from our uh -huh. polluting behavior. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Whales are not the most inherently funny animals. Sorry. But we tried anyway, and you didn't yeah. respect that. <laughs> um, so how, what is your favorite animal? That's such a hard question. It's one that we get really often as zookeepers. It's so hard to choose a favorite animal. I did find, though, that I would choose maybe my favorite mammal, bird, and reptile. And my mammal and bird would change quite a bit. And then my favorite reptile, I kept coming back to Jumbo Jet. He is a radiated tortoise. He's very charismatic, <laughs> yeah. Is he just like slowly charismatic, he or is, what is that like? Yes, he's like a very slow puppy dog <laughs> in some ways. Is it like the sloths in Zootopia, where it's like, <laughs> like one of those deals, is that? Kind of. So if you're in a training session with Jumbo Jet, which I did many years ago, train Jumbo Jet to do something, you can see the inner workings happening when he's making the decision of, am I gonna do what she's asking? <laughs> yes. <laughs> so yeah, it's kind of like dealing with sloths in Tutopia. <laughs> um, so what, so with the turtle, how old is that turtle? How long did it take to learn all those things? Was it like a He's quick? He's 25, but I taught him that particular behavior I was thinking of eight or nine years ago, something okay. like that. So he will hopefully live to be 100, though. So oh. mm -hmm. Lots of time to master those tricks. Yes, yes. And we always tell people that the secret to long life is just eat your greens and don't hurry like a tortoise. That's really good advice. I know, he's very wise. He's a very wise tortoise. I feel like I need that. Like I need that like today. <laughs> I don't think I've eaten anything green in like a week. I don't know. <laughs> 
So at being a PLU grad, and you've got a whole room of PLU students here, is there anything that you think uh, PLU students should know? I mean, like, I'm graduating in, like, two, two months. <laughs> and, like, what, what advice do you have for people? Obviously, you train, you change tracks a little bit. Um, yeah. Do you have any th pieces of advice for the students here today? I think one of the things I learned at PLU was how to find my passion and follow it. I think that is a really great goal for anyone to have. So like I said, when I realized that there was a job that was working at this Wild Wonders outdoor theater and there was a path to get there, I went for it. So I think that PLU helps to cultivate that sort of attitude in people. And so find your passion, go for your calling, and do what makes you happy. Do you remember the word that we overuse here? <laughs> The word that you overuse. Yeah, it starts with a V. <laughs> Someone just yelled in the back. <laughs> They've really hammered in vocation. Yeah, Maybe that was pre-after he graduated. I don't know. Mm. I don't know. Is there, any, is there anything else you want to say about the zoo uh, before we go to commercial here? Thank you for coming on, by the way. You've been awesome. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah. I am delighted to be here. And I do recommend coming back starting this May and running all summer and into September to see The West is Wild, our Wild Wonders Outdoor Theater program. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you so much, Suzanne. Give Thank it up you. for Suzanne.